We're gonna make classic ceviche today. This is a seafood originated in Peru thousands of years ago. It consists on raw fish cured in citric juices from lime or lemon and it's usually spiced with chili, onion, salt or multiple other options that can make this simple looking dish vary so much and offer such a taste complexity. So we're gonna start here with the tiger's milk in Spanish leche de tigre and this is basically the most important part of your dish. It's a citric fishy marinade that will cure your fish and it consists in ingredients like a homemade fish broth, red onions, chili, coriander, celery, lime, ginger and anything you like. As you can imagine there's no tigers in Peru so this name comes probably from the fact that this one powerful marinade is believed to give the strength of a tiger to the ones who eat it. Let's fill first a pot with water. You can add two stems of celery. I'm making quantities for two people so just double it if you're having more guests. Simply start adding the things to your pot. You can actually use the bones of the fish you're gonna use in the ceviche. In my case, I'm not gonna because I got this beautiful mackerel today that I already eaten and I will just add the bones. It's a really flavorful full fish to do broths with. A little bit of white wine. I add some leeks left over that I will also add. Couple of onions, you can use the skin too. Just don't bother to take too much of the onion because you can use the skins also. Just clean it a little bit, not to bring any earth. And finally, some salt and it goes bring into a boil and wait 20 minutes We prepare the potatoes. As I said, they're gonna be a nice add on your dish. Peel them. They will counterbalance the acidity of the old dish, so they're quite important because they're sweet and flowery. Take off the peels. Now we're gonna dice them in small cubes. They will look nice in your dish. So just cut them lengthwise and then in rectangles so that you can make little cubes out of them. Like this.
You add a pinch of salt on the water to boil them. And let it boil till the consistency is optimal. Don't let it boil too much, we don't want them mushy. It's nice to have a bit resistance to the teeth. So now that we have our broth ready, I'm gonna use around 120 ml. We're gonna prepare our leche de tigre. For that, you need one celery stem, a bit of ginger, some limes, I'll use three, you can use four if you like it more acidic. Some ice, a red, half red onion, and I will use half chide. So we can start by cutting the stem off and take the leaves. You can save them for your next broth. So cut some stem just really fine because you're gonna whiz it. You cut put all the ingredients in your mixer. Then cut the half chile. The easiest way to do it is to cut it in half, take the seeds off, you don't want to exaggerate in the spice, and they're also sour the seeds. So just slice it and put it in the mixer again. Throw your seeds and be sure not to touch your eyes or mouth or any other part. You have some of the ginger, I would cut around one centimeter. Also, just a hint. So you can peel the skin off with a spoon to be easy. And just thin slices. In the mixer. The next step, as I told you, you're gonna use half an onion. You're gonna save the other half for later in our recipe. Yeah, maybe this one seems all right. You peel it. This time you can also save the peel for your next broth. Remember always to save any peel you gather so that it can actually be useful later. And like this you avoid also food waste. So As it's going to be whizzed, you don't need to care too much about slices being thin. Of course, it's always faster if you do, though. Then you have the limes. Just half them and you're gonna juice them with the help you can already put the ice also in the mixer and you can just juice them in a bowl or directly in the mixer. The thing with the lime is that you can never squeeze it too much because it gets sour. So just be sure that you take the nice part out of it and not the sour bits.
We'll add some more lime later and the same method should be applied always with the lime. So you were in the mixer. And finally the broth that we made. Look at the beautiful color. Also in the mixer. And you just give it a whiz so you can extract the juice after. So now you should get this beautiful pink color as a result and you're gonna filter it with a sieve. You can work around your way with a spatula. And here you have your Leche de Tigre. You should now, before doing all the other steps of the recipe, save it in the fridge. It can be there till 3 hours. After that it gets too sour and too bad, so try to use it the soonest possible. So while the potatoes were cooking, I just chopped the half of the red onion that we had from before really thinly with a mandolin. If you don't have a mandolin, you can just use a really sharp knife and do the job well. And put it in cold water with some ice cubes that will actually take all this aggressiveness of the onion and uh, enhance the crispiness quality of it. I also hydrated some wakame seaweed. You probably know them from Japanese kitchen. It's not on the classic recipe of a ceviche, but I really like them together. So I'm going to put them aside to use while mixing. By the way, you should get a mixing bowl where you're going to mix all the ingredients I'm going to explain. Here are the potatoes we boiled. The leche de tigre that is ready. The chili, some more lime, a sea bass filet, fresh, and some chai flowers that I took from my garden. You have also some coriander. So we can start by slicing the fish. We're going to try to do it in small cubes. Be sure to slice them enough so that they get also cooked by the acidic power of the leche. So you can add them to your mixing bowl. And start gathering the other ingredients. You can put on your sweet potato. the onion the wakame seaweed squeeze it a little bit You can now chop and deceive the other half of the chili that we had from before. Then add it to the mix. Have here some coriander. 
Don't throw the stems away as they give a lot of sweetness to the dish too. So finely chop them too. Add it to the mixing bowl. And save the rest of the leaves for deco. You have the lime, remember as from before, just squeeze it really gently. We don't want the sour part of it. A bit of salt. So now we're gonna add our tiger's milk. Be generous because it's a precious ingredient of your dish. And you can see the fish already changing color to white. Taste it to see if you should add any salt. Well, it seems to be ready. I need to add more salt to my dish. Just I can feel the aroma of the lime and our sweet spicy marinade. You can add a bit of a liquid. It's what will give the taste to your dish. Some coriander leaves. and some of the chai flowers. And here it's our dish. It's lovely. And it's super fresh for this spring and summer season. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. I'm happy to hear uh, all of your questions if you have them. And I see you next week for the next recipe.